With climate change, we have very, very little time left. And the longer we leave uh, our uh, relationship to the environment in the hands of corporations like ExxonMobil or BP or those who are building the XL pipeline or exploiting the tar sands, the faster we barrel towards collective suicide. Both in Canada and the United States, the political elites are completely hostage to the fossil fuel industry and are quite willing to sacrifice us all in the name of quarterly profit. Even if we stopped all carbon emissions immediately, we would not free ourselves from the effects of climate change. Uh, and yet our response, uh, and this is largely fueled by a corporate dominated media, is either to deny that climate change is real or uh, somehow believe that we can adapt. Uh, both are self-delusional. The question is, will the collapse of globalization come first? Or will the collapse of the ecosystem come first? Or maybe they'll both come together. But that's where we're headed towards. Good morning, planet Earth. <laughs> we're fucked. You heard? So I'm uh, reading this um, piece. I'm going to jump into a little climate change today. It's something I never really talked about. And uh, because, you know, hey, you know, climate change is a hoax, right? It's fake, right? It's no shit going. So it's all bullshit, right? It's all liberal crap, right? It's fucking, there's no ozone. The ozone could last another million years, right? We're having no effect on it whatsoever, right? Not according to the uh, scientists. Not according to the people that study this uh, sort of thing. So I'm going to jump into that in a second. But first, I want to talk about, uh, if you want to have your voice heard, I mean, your actual voice heard on this channel, please uh, follow these directions. So what I, here's my email address. Right? Let's put it right here. Short, happy life, one word, gmail.com. And um, on your iPhone, just uh, if you want to record a message for me, like a question, I'd rather, I mean, whatever. If you, who, who the hell am I? What am I, Mr. Oracle? But if you want to get involved and you, you have this burning question or comment or something i right? just get on your phone record a message on the uh the i recorder or the android recorder and email it to me at short happy life right. keep it keep it short please three minutes or less and uh and those are usually only about uh 500 kgabyte it's about a half a megabyte per minute so two three minutes is no big deal so uh Take your time. Good quality, please. Don't send me crap, crackly, shitty. <laughs> so if you want to get, if you want to do that, I'd be happy to um, listen to comments and uh, no guarantee. I mean, you know, if, you, if you say something funny or stupid or or interesting, I'll uh, I'll 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 put it out and uh, we'll talk about it. Right. But mostly, I I don't do live videos. That's that's why. I mean, I I believe in the thread down below. I believe in people take listening to what someone is telling them or what this talking head in front of you was saying and then you comment and you have a you have a minute to think about it the super chat just this two lines three lines is not really uh, and it flies by you know so I'm more of a fan of the uh, the, the commentary but I, I am open to to uh, to uh, to fielding uh, voice messages and video if you're so bold as to make a little video and you want to send it to me I'm, I'm down for that all right so so what's going on man we're doomed 12 years until we're doomed according to the new york post now i'm going to drop another link down below because the white house confirms all of this they they released this is uh based on uh yesterday's uh united nations report but based on the White House's report from August, which I'll include down below. It's a 500 page monster of a document. If you want to go through it, <clears throat> somewhere at the end it talks about the very things that this Post article is talking about. They summarized it for us. So, Trump administration says climate change will make Earth a living hell <laughs> by 2100. Atlantic's warming waters made 2017 hurricanes more extreme. Earth is on track to face devastating consequences of climate change, extreme drought, food shortages, and deadly flooding. Unless there's an unprecedented effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 2030, a United Nations report warns. Now, 
Okay, logical, lo logic, logic, right? Is it a hoax? Is climate change a figment of someone's imagination? Like, it's not really happening, right? It's not, the. It, it's just, um, it's a made-up story so that, that uh, we, can, we can instill fear in people and make them just keep doing what they're doing and, uh, you know, burn, you know, cars and uh, that burn fossil fuel and there's no problem, right? Is that really, is that really what's going on? Is it just a big hoax or is it real? Are we really doing this devastating stuff to the planet? Human interaction, human, human activity is causing it. Is that true? Uh, what do I believe? Yes. I mean, just look at the statistics, right? The human population in the 70s on Earth was 3 billion. We're now at 7 billion. There's 7 billion human beings on Earth. Right? That's, that, the population almost tripled in, in, a, in a short 40-year period. You know, and when you consider that the Earth has been around for millions and millions of years, billion years, it's very, very likely that we have something to do with it. See, a cancer starts out very small, man. Right? It's just it's a little fucking annoyance, and it locks on, and then it starts to, it starts to, to, to get breath and strength, and that's us. That's the human species right now. So let's look at some of the statistics, just for shits and giggles. I know maybe it's a hoax. Who knows? I, you know, it's just bullshit, right? It's just liberal fucking propaganda, right? The planet's surface has already warmed by one degree Celsius, 1.8 degree Fahrenheit, and, and could be a catastrophic 1.5 Celsius or 2.7 degree Fahrenheit increase by 2030 and 2052, sci scientists say. So the temperature is going up. This is concerning. Why is it concerning? This is concerning. We know there are many more problems if we exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming, including more heat waves, hot summers, greater sea level rise, and for many parts of the world, worse droughts and rainfall extremes. The stunning statistics, these stunning statistics were released Monday in a report by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which warns that we must take rapid far-reaching and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society in order to survive as a planet. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Is it real? Yeah, it's fucking real. But, you know, we always thought, oh, you know, climate change, the, you know, they'll smoke the planet a couple hundred years, we'll all be dead. But they're not. This is 12 years away. This is 12 years away in our lifetime. We're going to watch. We're going to fucking burn and, and, and smother and drown. If nothing is done, Earth can expect temperature rises by 3 degrees Celsius more frequent or extreme droughts, an increase in deadly hurricanes, 90% of the coral reef dying off, including Great Barrier Reef in Australia, according to the report. We're killing everything. We're killing, we're killing all, every species. Right? I mean, we're killing off the whole planet. The whole fucking thing is going, man. Right? It's just us. It's just us. And, and, the, and the tortured creatures that most people eat. Right? It's humans and, and tortured pigs and chickens and cows. I don't know, man. Efforts to curb climate change must also extend beyond the 2015 Paris agreements, which Trump walked away from. The window on keeping global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius is closing rapidly. And the current admissions pledges made by signatures, signatures of the Paris Agreement do not add up to achieving that gold, goal. <clears throat> and they're basically saying that the Paris, Paris Agreements didn't go far enough. Staying within 1.5 degrees Celsius, they keep running this temperature rise thing. Instead of 2 degrees Celsius, we result in global sea level rising 3.9 inches less by 2100, reducing flooding. It would also cut down on species loss and extinction and reduce the impact on various ecosystems. Listen, this fucking, I read enough, right? So 
it doesn't touch on other issues too. The food chain, right? Cows, chickens, you know, a trillion animals go down, you know, go down in flames every year for the consumption of human food, right? That's completely unnecessary. Livestock gives off carbon dioxide, right? And we're seeing also, I mean, as a, so if a vegan vegetarian diet where we stop enslaving animals and then put that, you know, put that energy into growing food that gives off car gives off oxygen right green green plants breathe in carbon dioxide the stuff that we breathe out and they give off oxygen so the const the making of plants growing plants is the way to go it's not it's not enslaving animals the torturing of animals that's one right but that's only 10. I know the vegan community. I know, I know, I know you guys are going to say, oh, that's the main issue, right? But it's, it is a big issue in terms of suffering. But in terms of the actual carbon, sp you know, spilling into the environment, it's, it's fossil fuel. That's the number one cause, the fossil fuel. Burning of, you know, burning car, getting in your car to go down the block to the 7-Eleven rather than walking or taking a bike charged by a battery or... Or, or something else like that, right? So that's what has to change, right? Can we get to a planet that has zero burning of fossil fuel, fossil fuels? Maybe someday, but we can get very close to 80 or 90 percent solar, wind, using the tide for energy. This is all well known. I mean, it doesn't take. It only takes a hand. The, the solar panels are advancing at alarming at a wonderful pace in terms of their technology where you could just lay out a couple of these solar panels. For example, if you wanted to farm the sun, now you could have sun farms like in Arizona, for example, where there's, there's, you know, miles and miles of desert or New Mexico. The United States is a, is a, is a treasure trove of, of uh, solar power. You just line, you know, miles and miles of desert with solar panels and then put that electricity back into the grid and then you could fuel you know uh, transit you can get high power trains back and forth right you could fuel uh, you could sell that electricity back to customers it's not the old-fashioned way everybody has a solar panel on their roof and cars have solar panels on their roof no it's more of a the direction is more in the direction of farming the electricity from the sun in desert-like places. Also, same could be said about wind. You could, where where it's windy, 80 mile an hour winds, you can harvest harvest that wind, right, out in the oceans. The the tide, the moving of the tide creates a a, a potential for uh, generating electricity. Right? So there's a million ways of doing it, right? We already know the ways of doing it, but how do we stop it? How do we reverse course? It's again, it's again, the, the message again, again, it's oligarchy. It's the, the, the fossil fuel industries are not having it. They don't, they don't want it. Corporations don't want it. So the corporations don't want it. They pay off the politicians and the politicians don't do anything about it. Right. When 90% of the people see it, it's real. Right? It's real. I'm telling you, it's not, it's not bullshit. Right. If you want to say that this is all just a hoax and. I don't know, man. I don't know how you come to that. I don't know how you come to that conclusion. Okay, and the other argument I've heard, and I'll, I'll, because I know you'll come, come at me with this one. You'll say, I say, oh no, no, no. That's just a natural evolution of the planet. All of a sudden, in the last hundred years, it just escalated into uh, carbon ice caps. You know, pissing out methane gas. All of a sudden, right? it's just natural evolution of the planet. Right? But that's, there's no evidence. I mean, the, the planet is b 5 billion years old, and all of a sudden, in the last seconds of the Earth, it's us. It's, it's human activity causing it, right? It's the increased population, the, 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 the extincting of certain species, the, sh the chopping down of rainforests, where... Instead of having trees take in the carbon dioxide, there's, there's just it's it's going up, eventually burning a hole in the ozone. Now I, I'll I'll even go further. This doomsday prophecy of incremental doom. 
I, I mean, yeah, that that is we will see an escalation in, in that sort of pattern. But I believe it's it's like that. It's like a bubble. It I think that there's a threshold. It's like when you you know, if you took a balloon, right, and you, you sit there sit there with a pin and you just play around with it, you know, you touch it, you poke it, and all of a sudden you just go That's my view of it. It'll come fast, it'll you know, the, the doomsday, the uh, the implosion of the atmosphere will probably come in, in moments once we pass a, a, a certain threshold. So now that I've told you all that, now that we're all screwed completely, right, it's definitely something to think about. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, is all science crap and shit and it doesn't matter? I don't think so, man. So, my name is Marcus Conti reporting.